Episode 10 of The Escape of the Seven starts with the Six and Du Hyuk arriving at G.A.S. house to find a body and the warning on her mirror. Amoini cannot breathe since she texts K that G.A. knows about him and tells him to stop her. G. Nemo's phone rings, startling everyone. K is on the phone and tells G. Nemo that the chairman is very angry. He says that anyone who makes the chairman of Sung Chan Group angry will pay the price. They are terrified as they run out of J.S. house. They reconvene at Juran's to discuss their options. Their only hope now is Matthew, and they decide to do everything they can to get him on their side. Meanwhile, the chairman of Sung Chan Group directs his assistant to ensure the incident involving Jun Suk never gets out. He asks him to eliminate anyone in Sung Chan Group's way, no matter who they are. Matthew learns about Song J.S. death. Du Hyuk tells him about the message written in the mirror. He thinks Chairman Sim is evil since he would do anything to protect his son. Matthew blames himself for the deaths of Jie and Chairman Bang. He is afraid something might happen to Du Hyuk. Du Hyuk swears to stay by Matthew's side until the end, even if it might cost him his life. Emoni fears for her family and asks Lahui for help. She tells Emoni to take care of her family business independently and asks if she asks Kay for a favor. She gets angry since killing Jie will either make the police start snooping into their business, or Lee Wiseo will kill them. Later, he calls her back and agrees to become a celebrity. He asks that she find him a place to stay since he had left home after arguing with his parents about debuting. Ji Nemo goes to Penghe and asks her to pack up and run away. She asks if Hana's parents came for her, and says she will never give her back. Ji Nemo asks if she has any idea who Hana's parents are. He is terrified and goes to hug Penghe, but she pushes him away. She tells him she did not kill him because she is a mother and cannot become a murderer. Hana is Emoeni's child. Wan Eugene runs into Emoeni's brother at Tikitaka and invites him for a drink. She gives him her business card and asks if he thinks about letting her make him a star. Meanwhile, the police question Emoeni about G.A.S. suicide. G. Nemo mentions to him G-Man that Sim Jusuk had asked him to send Min Duhyuk to prison five years ago since he hated his guts. He also requested that he wipe out Duhyuk's family and leave no trace. G. Nemo asks G-Man to look into Duhyuk to give them leverage over K. The police rule out G.A.S. death and suicide, making Matthew and his team change plans. His next move is to take everything the six enjoy and try to protect. G. Nemo signs Erica to Cherry Entertainment. Meanwhile, someone calls Juran asking to pay $500,000 for fake proof of pregnancy. Elsewhere, Chulwu tries to give him G-Man a gold bar to appreciate him for helping him be promoted to police commissioner. G-Man tells him to stay off drugs so he does not get his name tainted. Bekiko, one of Kang Kitak's men, is disguised as a chef and secretly notices Chulwu adding drugs to G-Man's drink. The school board received information on Myungji. She extorts money from parents by selling them expensive paintings in exchange for giving favors to their children at school. Myungji says she sent the paintings to the parents as gifts to thank them for visiting her gallery. The parents who received favors protect Myungji, while those against her start a fight at the principal's office. In addition, there are allegations of Myungji going to a motel with a student's father. She denies the allegations, but the principal asks her to provide evidence. She gets angry, asking why she must prove her innocence when telling the truth. Instantly, she remembers Demi saying the same thing when they falsely accused her. The principal suspends Myungji pending disciplinary action. Elsewhere, a lady comes to Juran with five hundred. Zero 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 dollars asking for a fake pregnancy report. As soon as she agrees to write the report, she calls in reporters who barge into her office with cameras. They start asking about the fake information, and one mentions Juran giving a teenage girl a fake pregnancy report five years ago. Juran realizes the incident is connected to Demi, and she runs out. Du Hyuk is watching the incident unfold and calls Matthew to tell him Myungji's and Juran's missions are clear. 
Matthew tells Du Hyuk to handle Emoeni next. He sent an email to the man of truth. The digital creator talks about Emoeni, saying that her mother and her family are the most important people in her life. She also says that he mother is perfect and speaks multiple languages. He shows Emoeni's family and calls her out on the lie. Matthew calls Emoeni to tell her about the strange video. She calls Lahui, but Kang Kitak enters Lahui's car, so she does not pick up. Kang Kitak tells Lahui that Li Waiso is waiting for her and asks her to drive. Emoeni goes to Matthew and promises to explain everything about the video in three hours. So Yun goes into Eugene's house to tell her about Emoeni's emergency. She accidentally walks into Emoeni's brother, taking a bath, and Kyung Su likes her at first sight. Myung Ji picks up Erika and Philip from school and learns that a man posing as their manager has taken them away. She calls Jin Emo to ask for his help. Meanwhile, Kang Kitak takes Lahui to Lee Waiso's house. He takes her phone and locks her in. The lights in the room are switched off, and a masked man walks. Lahui is scared and falls down the stairs. She loses consciousness, and the man breaks the back of her palm. Jean Emo asks Myung Ji to let him look for her kids. Du Hyuk delivers documents to Cherry Entertainment star, Ryu Hongju. The records indicate all the unpaid contracts under Cherry Entertainment. He also delivered another paper to Deputy Chief Prosecutor Zhou Dong Hee about Nam Chul Wu's use of drugs. Elsewhere, Nam Chul Wu bumps into someone on his way to get a certificate, and then Ju Ran asks for his help. Dong He intercepts him before he goes into the meeting, and he finds drugs on him. Chul Wu knows the person he bumped into slipped the pills into his coat. Ji Nemo arrives back at his office, and Ryu Hongju is waiting. She tells him that all actors signed under Cherry Entertainment will sue him for stealing their money and cancel their contracts. She gives him an ultimatum to pay back all their money or risk going to prison. Ji Nemo checks his safe finds all the documents gone, and tries calling Du Hyuk. Du Hyuk tells him he will help look for someone to loan them the money they need to pay Hongju to make her not talk about his secret deals. Soon after, Emoni comes to Du Hyuk to ask him for help, looking for a woman to play her mother's role. Nam Chul Wu sells Ji Man out as the one who buys drugs from him. He calls K and asks for his help. K refuses to help and asks Ji Man to take the fall. G-Man discloses surprising news. Sim Joo-suk is not Chairman Sim's biological son, but Min Doo-hyuk is. Chairman Sim's assistant kills G-Man for threatening K. And Moani dupes the media and posts photos with the woman posing as her mother. The plan to take everything from the six continues, with G-Nemo taking a 30 million loan using Cherry Entertainment as collateral. Dilvyuk calls Kang Kitak and tells him he got Ji Nemo's promissory note. Kitak says he is a step closer to getting Taibak back. Lahui gains consciousness, and on seeing her wounds, she remembers Li Waiso as the docks worker on Jeju Island. Kitak tells her to tell the world who killed Demi if she wants to save her life. Lahui says she will not since her life is more important. She's worked hard to get the life she has now and will not give it up. Emoeni tells Jin Emo that she thinks Lahui might be working with Li Waiso. She tells him that Lahui is Demi's biological mother. Jin Emo is surprised and starts looking back to instances when Lahui got furious about Demi's death. Jin Emo rushes to check the loan document and realizes that his creditor is Kang Kitak, with whom Lahui was in a relationship. They gather at Lahui's apartment, waiting for her return. They confront her about working with Kang Kitak and Li Waiso, while also hiding that she is Demi's mother. Lahui admits to abandoning Bang Demi when she cannot get the money she wants from Chairman Bang. At the end of the episode, Matthew Lee walks into the room and tells everyone he is Li Waiso. The episode review this episode is about revealing secrets, as the game of revenge begins officially. The script is full of surprises, starting with Hana being Emoeni's child. Min Doo Hyuk might be a wealthy Chable heir, which is why K devised the elaborate plan. Finally, Matthew Lee reveals his identity. Everyone but Doo Hyuk is so terrified of the truth. 
the final puzzle pieces are coming together, and we slowly understand Kei's motive. However, we still cannot say without a doubt why he killed Demi and Chairman Bang. He continues to prove how ruthless he can be by killing even his accomplices like Prosecutor M. G. Man. Will Matthew Lee have the power and the psycho attitude necessary to win against K? What is Matthew Lee's reason behind revealing his identity?